Hey everyone, in this video we're talking about a higher order of implicit differentiation. So you'll hear it referred to a couple of ways. You might hear y double prime, or you might hear d2y over dx2. And all that means is, just like if it was with respect to x, if we were just taking a regular derivative, you take your first derivative, then whatever that is, take the derivative of it again. It's a very, very similar process with implicit differentiation of higher order derivatives. So let's do a question together. Let's do x plus y squared equals 6. So the first thing I'm going to do is take dy over dx of each side. So I'm just going to use impli implicit differentiation. So the derivative of x is 1 plus, if this would be x squared instead of y squared, the derivative of that would be 2x. So the derivative of y squared would be 2y. And then we always multiply by y prime because we know y is some function of x, but we're not exactly sure what it is. And it doesn't really matter either. And then the derivative of 6 would be 0. So then all you have to do is get y prime by itself. So let's move our 1 to the other side. So we'll subtract 1 from both sides. So those will cancel out, and we'll get 2y, y prime equals negative 1. Divide both sides by 2y, and you'll get y prime equals 1 over 2y, and it was negative. So, then what we do is we take the derivative of y prime. So to do that, we're going to need to use the division rule for derivatives which says that the derivative of something that's a fraction equals, that's v, that's u, so it's the thing on the bottom times the derivative of the thing on the top minus whatever's on the top times the derivative of the thing on the bottom divided by the thing on the bottom squared. So in this case, u is negative 1, and v is 2y. So, we'll go 2y, the derivative of negative 1, be 0, minus negative 1, the derivative of 2y, implicitly, would be 2 times y prime, over 2y squared. So, 2y times 0 is just 0. Negative 1 times 2y prime would be negative 2y prime, but it was minus negative 2y prime. So the negative times the negative just becomes the addition sign. 2y squared means 2y times 2y, which would be 4y squared. And then all we do is we look at our y prime, and we replace that y prime with what we said y prime equaled up here. So I say that y prime is negative 1 over 2y. So the first thing I can do is reduce these two numbers, right? 2 over 4 would be the same as a half. So you could do that. I'm not going to right away, and you'll see why in a second. So to add fractions, we need a well, not to add fractions, sorry. We want um, to get rid of this denominator on the fraction 1 over, negative 1 over 2y. So to do that, I'm going to multiply all this stuff on the top by y and all the stuff on the bottom by y because y over y is equivalent to the fraction 1 over 1. And when I do that, I will get 2y times negative 1 over 2y so that's why I added over 4y cubed. So this 2y will cancel it with that 2y. And I'll be left with negative 1 on the top over 4y cubed on the bottom. 
So I would say that is equal to y double prime, and that's all you have to do. So all you do, take the derivative once, and say y prime equals, take the derivative again, and then when you do that, wherever you see a y prime, just substitute what you found y prime was equal to initially. So I hope that helped. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.